Okay, Leo, here's a short little video from my phone. Uh, I got one of the retracts working. It had glue on the micro switch, but this is also the one that is broke. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, right here, well, I'm going to get my screwdriver in there. Right there, this part of the casing is cracked where the pressure is. I've taken the screws out right now, and it's sitting flush just like it is when we get it in the box. Now watch what happens when I actuate it. I'm going to have to back this off here. See how it raises the retract up right here when the wheel makes contact with the foam? That's putting pressure on it right here, and it's taking the two pieces of plastic that are right here and on the case right there, and it's pulling them apart and causing the case for the retract unit to crack right at the arms on um, both sides where my screwdriver is. Right there on this one and that one. I'll kind of move it around here, but you see that? The gap right here is quite a bit. I put some washers underneath this to help stop that. Right now the retract is resting in a neutral position where there's no pressure against the foam. But if I screw it down, that puts pressure on it right there and it causes stress on the case to crack. It's just right here on these two screws. Open it back up again. Okay, the other point that I was pointing out to you, the little door that sits right here, that goes into the hinge pins that are on the, uh, that are on the plastic piece right here, these little hinge pins are really fragile. You can see right here, these two little hinge pins that go right here break really easy. I glued a piece of carbon fiber to try and fix this one while I'm waiting for the replacement parts to show up, which is kind of working for now anyway. But that's the pins that I was talking about that are breaking. But as you can see, now that I've got the retract up and I put and I push it back down, that's flush. But when it when the wheel makes contact with the uh, foam on the inside here in the wheel well, it takes the retract and pushes it up like this, and that causes that crack right there that you can see. That crack right here on both and it's going to crack on both sides because of this right here. Either this could be metal to to change that or like I said I put washers underneath this right here little spacers that jacks it up a little bit it kind of takes the scale a look at the of the retract away just a little bit because it forces the gear out a little further and normally on a P47 we would use 85 degree retracts and I know these are 90 degree but that's why but if this was an 85 degree retract this would be perfect to mount it just like it is it's because it's 90 because then we would then we can mount it down like this for the dihedral and the wing. Hope that helps a little bit. Uh, I'll do some more. I've been playing around with these while I'm waiting for the parts, and I appreciate all your help. I'll get back more to you. Have a good one, Leo.